everybody, welcome back to Jamia's Promo, and today we're going to talk about five settings to toggle on your Samsung Galaxy devices. Now, toggle just means either turn on or turn off. Now, the first one that we'll talk about today is a way that you're able to answer phone calls by pressing the volume up button. Now, all you want to do is pull down the notifications panel, click on the settings icon, and then scroll down to where it says accessibility. Now inside of accessibility, you want to go underneath interaction and dexterity because it's a way that you're interacting with your phone. And then inside of here, you're going to see this option here for answering and ending calls. And this is the one to toggle on. Now this green indicator just means that it is toggled on versus being toggled off. So what this allows you to do is if anybody was to call you with your screen on, or if your phone is in the locked state, no matter which way it is, you're able to press the volume up key because maybe it's just a little bit more convenient and easier to find. Or if you're a little bit harder of seeing your phone and you just need a little bit more help of answering something, or it might be a little bit harder to swipe over, well, hitting the volume up key is a way you're able to answer a phone call in any of the states, either your phone unlocked or locked. The next setting to toggle is one that is called go to websites. Now what you want to do is go inside of your gallery and on the top right hand side, go to more options and then head inside of settings. Now inside of here, you see this one right here um, out of the box, it should be toggled on. So just make sure that it has this little red indicator letting you know that it is toggled on. And all it does is that it's a way that if you take a screenshot, you're able to go to the original source of where you took that picture. So for example, let's say you took a picture of uh, this ingredient list in a way that you're able to create a chili, uh, but you did not have this turned on. You're not able to go to the original source, but once it's toggled on, you can go to exactly where you found it. So you'll be able to notice that this is something that is helpful uh, if you're purchasing something in the future for Christmas. Uh, maybe there's a shirt that you like and you took a screenshot so you can check it out later, but you forget the exact source of where it came. So it's a way that you're able to go to websites. So if you go right over here, this is another one that I took a picture off the internet. And then if you look at this one right here, there is no go to websites because it wasn't from a website. So this is just something super simple and easy to take you right back over to something you were interested in because you took a screenshot. So you might as well go back to the original source. The third setting to toggle is inside of the camera, and this is for the ultra wide shape correction. So if you go underneath your regular photo and you wanna take a ultra wide photo, but sometimes you might see something kind of out of whack, might be kind of extended in the photo because uh, the angle and the, the proximity of what you're taking a picture of or the person you're taking a picture of, uh, it might look a little weird or distorted. So if you go inside of your settings, go right here where it says save options, and inside of save options, you have this setting right here, ultra wide shape correction. It automatically corrects distortion in pictures taken with the ultra wide lens. So out of the box, this is turned off. All you'd wanna do is turn it on and this blue indicator light lets you know that you are now correcting anything that is taken with the ultra wide camera lens. The fourth setting to toggle is again inside of the camera, and this one is called Pictures as Previewed. So I've shown this in the past, uh, but a lot of people loved this little setting change. So I wanna make sure that I can hit the masses with this one. So inside of your normal, let's say selfie camera, when you go underneath your settings and you scroll down, you're gonna see this option right here that is called Pictures as Previewed. So this right here, I believe is actually toggled on. And so this is the one that you wanna turn off. But let me show you what it looks like originally. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a selfie. I'm gonna have something behind me. And let's just say that I wanna take this picture here. So I, I took a picture with me kind of in it, in it, but you can see right there that Jimmy is promo is spelled backwards. This number right here uh, is completely backwards. And so when you, when you try to take selfies and if you're wearing a hat, if you're wearing a shirt, if you're at a location, you're taking a picture, there's a lot of crazy stuff that could be happening. Uh, and it's for me distracting, reading something backwards. And it's just, I'm not really looking at exactly what you're trying to take a picture of. So if you turn this off, if you toggle it off, then this way, when you take your selfie again, uh, everything is gonna be basically correct. So let's say that we go here, take the picture. Now, when we go inside of this picture here, you can see that it's probably a little bit better. Uh, everything is spelled correctly. You can read one wheel, you can see the number, uh, and you can also see the letters and that, that creates words. So I think this is a better toggle uh, for me personally. So uh, you might as well change this one as well too. If you notice that you take pictures and everything is in reverse, uh, that is the reason why. So make sure you turn off pictures as previewed. 
The last setting to toggle is one that is called pin window. So you wanna pull down the notifications panel, click on the settings icon and scroll down to biometrics and security. Now underneath here, you're gonna scroll all the way down to the very bottom and go to other security settings. And then again, all the way to the bottom, you're gonna see one that is called pin windows. So pin windows, this is a way that you're able to pin a app that you're not able to get out of. So this is almost kind of like a kid's mode. It's a way that you wanna hand off your phone to somebody, maybe it is your son, your daughter, and you don't want them to get out of the app to create other issues like sending text messages to people, calling people, deleting your gallery images and things like that. And you can also set up this option here, which is ask for pin before unpinning. So if there's somebody who is old enough to know that they can read a screen, uh, then they're gonna be able to get out of it. Uh, and so you might well not wanna put in the pin right here. So what you're able to do now is let's say that you hit on the home button and let's say that we go inside of YouTube. So let's say that this is the application that you want to pin. You don't want them to get out of. Uh, what you're able to do is hit on the recents button. You're going to go over into that, that said application that you want to be locked. When you tap on the very top, you're going to see this one right here, which is called pin this app. Now, in order for you to get out of pin windows, you want to press and hold on recents and back at the exact same time. Now, anybody who is old enough to know uh, that you're able to just press and hold on recents and back, then they would be able to read that and be able to do it. But if you have a pin set up, then they'd have to know your pin to actually get out of it. So let's say that you go through here and you want to get back. Uh, when you try to you know, hit on the back button, it actually tells you right here to unpin this app, touch and hold recents and back. That's why it's good to put a pin. If I hit the home button, if I hit the recents button, nothing's there. If I hit the power button and let's say I go back in, it, it's literally pinned to the screen that no one can get out. Uh, unless if you do this and then you want to put in your pin or your facial recognition so really your security settings to get back into the phone is the only way to get out of that application and once your phone is unlocked then you're able to go right back home and that's really pretty much it you're able to pin any application so if there is a particular app that somebody uses in your family or a friend uh, and you want them to stay in there, you don't want them to get out, uh, maybe it's a game, no matter what, uh, you are able to keep them in that specific application without them going through and rummaging through your phone and sending your boss random nude photos. But other than that, I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here at the very bottom left hand side. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. And I'll see you guys later.